Alright, this is my Gamma Energy Replacement. It's called Z-Pack. I've explained it like twice, but the second time I didn't even record, so you just got nothing but sounds, so I decided to start over again, and I broke the wrong window first. Alright, impies. We shall get to the imp slaughtering now. Yeah, go ahead. Hit me with all you got. Because I have a berserk fist now, and I'm going to murder you in one hit. Well, at least most monsters get murdered in one hit. Anyways, um, let's see if I can not be stupid about this this time. Anyways, this is Z-Pack. Um, as you can tell from this, it's Z-Pack. I will show you the title map in the next time, but, uh, yeah. Let's just say I got a little annoyed at the fact that I was recording and talking and whatnot without actually recording my voice. I am amazing, I know. So anyways, what I'm doing right here is called, um, actually I have no idea what it's called, but if you do this, it enrages the monsters and they do infighting, which is a great feature. I love that about Doom, is that you can just make the enemies fight, and then you can just go reap the rewards of the destruction. Of course, sometimes they manage to not kill each other. Or sometimes you'll think they're all dead, and then somebody will teleport in and start shooting you with a gun. My basic strategy with Doom is to try and kill everything that can shoot, and then move on to things with slower projectiles, like imps, and then move on to demons and whatnot. So now we can open this and wreak more havoc on the enemies. And hopefully not get shot by Mr. Zombie Guy who's holding a shotgun, because that would not feel good. Of course, I just got hit by him, so uh, at least the demon was there to somewhat shield the hit. And uh, so, yes, this is Doom. It's a great game, gotta say. And uh, hopefully I won't die this time around, because that would be very inconvenient. I am going to be using saves because they were programmed into the original game, not into the sense that, um, unlike Mario hacks where you did not really have quick saves on the Super NES, but you can save at any point so you if you so desire on the Doom engine, so I'm not going to limit myself to not being able to use it because it's in the game. It's provided by the developers who created the original Doom. So I'm going to be saving mostly as ZP, and then numbers later when I need to have more than one. And now we have got this little area with some shotgun guy who I would like to have dead. Okay, there we go. And there is a demon here. And an imp! Oh my goodness, an imp. Imps have a bad reputation in the Doom community. Um... Let's just say there was a fanfic or something. Anyways, there's a cacodemon beneath me, but you cannot see him because he has submerged himself in the toxic waste. Which, uh, in original Doom, you couldn't swim. So, yeah. Let's just say that Z-Doom added quite a lot of stuff to the world of Doom. Oh, chain gun. That's cool. But, um, kind of getting wasted here. Oh, come on now. Jerk, Cacko Demon. Uh. Hey, kids, guess what? I'll be right back. Anyways, let's try doing this without dying this time. Um, I think I'd rather have the shotgun out, personally. Alright, Dimp. dimp. Alright, Collision, let me in here. And that's uh, Cacko Demon... Kako Deadman. Anyways, uh, let's get out of this toxic waste before we die. And there's the rocket guy who did not exist in the original Doom, and there's Chain Gun Guy. He's annoying. He's the most annoying enemy in the game, essentially. But of course, you may or may not know that. I'm going to assume that you do not because of how old Doom is and standards and stuff. But Doom did start quite a lot of things for us, such as the ability to have more than one ceiling, and it eventually raised into other stuff, and uh, trust me, I do not want to face this chain gunner. Chain gunners are highly dangerous, but thankfully I was able to take care of him without much trouble. Anyways, you can think of these games like Mario hacks in a lot of ways, because there are community enemies that... Uh, people have conjured up and are allowing others to use, which is a good thing, and that guy just exploded the wall, although he didn't really, it was just an invented thing, so a scripted thing or whatever. 
Which is another thing that Doom did not have in the vanilla form. Good lord. I am getting destroyed here. Um, might I'll open up the final door. Are there any med kits that I did not happen to grace by? Probably not. Anyways, I'm going to be doing what's called UV Max, which is essentially where you attempt to 100% a level by killing all the enemies, finding all the secrets, and if you can manage it, finding all the items. But uh, can't guarantee that because the majority of the time with items, the game doesn't really work out that well with items placement and whatnot. But uh, hey, it tries. It tries its best. We love Doom for what it is and not what it has become. Anyways, let's go on to the next level. I'm probably going to end up restarting so I don't have such low health, but um, whatever. And we have gotten 100% of everything. Sweet. And I was on par almost. Anyways, the thing about these levels is that they are kind of long, so that's another reason I like to use the saving method of Doom, because... Well, it sounds like it's a bad thing. Saving method from Doom because it allows me to be able to continue from a point that I have recently stopped at. And trust me, I'm going to need it in this game. I did what I was playing through all the times. Although, um... I'm not exactly what they would call a professional doomer, but, uh... Hey, I'm, I'd try my best. And that was me trying my best, ladies and gentlemen. Oh, hey, look, there's rockets falling from the sky! That's hilarious. Anyway... As you can see, there are some plasma rifle shots going above overhead, but, um, whatever. It's not one of my concerns. Now then, we gotta take care of this cacodemon and some imps and a demon. And then we have a bunch of zombie men up there, but they're the least of my concern right now. Hmm. And that's the end of that cacodemon. And hopefully it will not be the end of me. I've been trying not to lose all my health. Generally, when you're playing a video game, you want to not die. I know it's a foreign concept to me, because I end up dying a lot, but hey, someone has to. Ten bucks if you saw that coming, as a thing that I would say. Anyway, killing lost souls, they're annoying as well. I'll probably give an annoyance ranking for every monster in this mod and this game entirely, too, but hey. One of my least favorite enemies is about to be shot through the door. Oh my goodness, we have shotgun guys up there. Well, that felt good. Anyways, uh, there's a little thing they called a revenant in there, and he is the most annoying enemy in this game. I hate them. They all need to die, especially since I'm getting trying to 100% everything. Um, and that's one down. The reason I want to get rid of these things quickly is the fact that they are annoying enemies. They are very hard to take out sometimes, and not to mention their projectiles can home and or do a lot of damage and or both. Anyways, they are down another way and we need a blue key to be able to progress to the next level, so let's not hold our breath too long. And hey, we are up to a reasonable amount of health. Why isn't my auto aim helping me out too much? <sighs> Did I kill that other one? Well, I'm not hearing any wrong grunts from them, so I suppose I did kill them. Anyway, this area is annoying due to the fact that there are some lost souls in that little acid bath over there. And if I'm not mistaken, that acid bath has some nice shotgun shells in it if you're willing to try and not take damage. That was a close one. Hey, look, it's the Lost Souls, my favorite enemy in the entire world. They're almost as annoying as Hammer Brothers, except they don't have projectiles, they just kind of lunge at you a lot. Anyways, I'm going to attempt to take the shells, and I did, and there's some regular ammo in there too. I'm just gonna go ahead and get it. I think I got it, did I? Nope. Well then, now that I've wasted quite a lot of health, let's not die. Dying is not something I want to do. And I'm surprised the other Cacodemon just waited till now to fire, but uh, whatever. I'm going to try and save my chain gun ammo for the upcoming Revenant. 
Because he is a sneaky little devil. Not to mention he's annoying as hell. Hooray, he died. Now then, um... I'm going to quick save after I take the Berserk Pack behind these two demons who decided to just teleport in randomly. Because had they been there, they would have seen me as soon as I opened the door. And this, my friends, is a good point to save. <laughs> that would have been funny if I clicked a load, huh? Oh, that would have hurt some people. Anyways, we now have a red key, which means we can go into this door where there are a lot of things that wish us death. Such as that Hell Knight, who is the first encounter of Hell Knights that we have in this mod. And, uh, let's just say that modders are very generous in the encounter of Hell Knights, because if you ask me, this part's a little BS, but it's manageable if you're not stupid. But of course, that's asking a lot of me. Hell Knights aren't that hard to take out, but... They're not exactly easy to take out either, and thank you for killing that pinky for me, as they like to be called by the fans. But, uh, wait, are there four of these guys? I guess when there are only three, unless I'm just not counting, right? Anyways, it's two down. One to go, presumably. But yeah, should you rush in blindly, this can be a bad time for you. <sighs> Anywho, maybe we can make progress now, because I got about this far last time before people came home, and I had to stop my narrating because they would probably end up interrupting me, and God knows we need more than two people doing, more than one person doing an LP. And there's a demon pursuing me, who is now dead. Die, imps, die. I think something happens when you pull that switch. Uh, no, don't hurt me. Mass carnage everywhere! Anyways, should anything bad happen, we have the ability to heal ourselves. And we just opened up a teleport thing for a bunch of Hell Knights to come through. This is not working in my favor. I don't want them cornering me. This would be a good opportunity to have the super shotgun, but of course we don't get that yet. Just wants to kill Mr. Projectile Dude. Okay, there we go. Now then, we can chainsaw the rest of these guys to death. Ah, oh, thank god for pain chance. Because that means they're less likely to attack you, but then again, I have the highest pain chance in the game, so... I think. I forget. I'm not exactly that confident. Thankfully, Doom Man laughs at falling damage. Anyways, uh, that opened this door. Which leads us back here. Which, uh... I'm not sure what we're supposed to do from here, actually. Hmm. Presumably there is something else in this area. Yeah, here we go. Wait, we can't actually go through that yet. Or there. Huh, where do we need to go? Um... Maybe there's just something I'm not seeing. Hmm. We don't have a blue key yet. Unless... I think I know where to go. Here! And there's more freaking demons. And more hell knights. My favorite. Die. 